ArcGIS Pro has a number of options for selecting features on the map. So in order to start selecting features, let's uh, switch from Explore mode and go over to uh, the Select option. So if you notice here, the, uh, there's a, a square kind of an icon at the top portion. That tells us that the last time the selection tool was used, the rectangle option was selected. If I click the down arrow, I can see all the various options for selecting features on the map. But let's go ahead and just go with the rectangle for now and you can see how that works. So to select features, you simply draw a rectangle. You can see the outline being drawn and everything that it touches will then be selected. Uh, you can see that visually here on the map with all the highlighted options. If you click on the attributes button up here, then you'll also be able to see those in the attributes window. So it's another view of being able to see the selection on the map, which is very handy since sometimes some of the objects will actually be in uh, parts of the map that aren't currently visible. Uh, this also shows a little bit more information about the features. So I can see in this case uh, we've got uh, different types of wire and then uh, in the case of this pedestal we also have a station number listed as well. So that can give you some helpful information about what you have selected. It's good to kind of look at both places. So let's try one of the other selection options. Let's go to Polygon. So the Polygon lets you draw uh, different uh, shapes and you just uh, basically draw lines until you create a shape and you end the shape with a double click. And so I just double click there and now everything within that was selected. So if I do that again, let's do like a triangle shape, go further out to the right here and uh, it will uh, select all those options as well. So that's just kind of a, an idea of how you can uh, do a polygon or multi-sided uh, type of objects. So let's do a lasso next. So a lasso is kind of nice. It lets you do kind of a free form shape around the objects that you want to select. So I'm just going to kind of go around this area on the right here. And then as soon as I let go of the lasso tool, it will then uh, select all those items. Next is the circle, and that's very simple. You just start drawing, you know, you click and drag, and it'll just draw a circle. Anything it touches will then be selected. Next is the line. And so with the line tool, you have the ability to just draw either a single straight line. So if I go straight line down, then it's going to then select those things that it touched. Or I can also do a uh, multiple line type of uh, selection here. So I uh, I'm going to go and draw one line there, and then I'm going to end it with a double click, just like the polygon. And in that case, it selected all the things that touched. So you can make you know several different line uh, segments and uh, just connecting to the things that you want to select. But just make sure to end it with a double click. Uh, the last one here is the trace. So the trace lets you trace along an existing uh, feature on the map. So I'm going to click near this uh, this conductor. And I'm just, uh, I let go of the mouse button and I'm just kind of drawing along. If you see, I'm going to go down, I can go down to that meter. And, or if I want to go back up, I can then continue to follow along this particular line. And as soon as I stop and click on it, then it's going to select everything along the line that it touched. So that can be handy in certain cases if you really want to trace along, especially along like existing conductor or uh, some conduit. So a lot of times you end up having quite a few different features selected on the map. And so here's an example. Uh, if you want to clear the selection, there's two ways to do it that I typically use. One is I just draw in a blank area. So usually I have the rectangle tool selected and I'll just draw a little rectangle and that clears out the selection. Uh, the other option is to right click in a blank area of the map and then just say clear. That will clear out the selection and uh, allow you to keep uh, continue on to select other options.